is the whole diagram now we will see you know um, this is the explanation of uh, the thing what we have seen just now right now uh, So the sending uh, data link layer at the end of a link is producer of the same. So here it is uh, called as flow control. Now it is the job of uh, you know data link layer to uh, enforce flow control. Flow control means uh, here what is flow control? So flow control is something uh, like this. So just uh, flow control means uh, this is uh, flow. Now just I want to incorporate a flow control. So suppose this is a source and this is destination. Am I clear over here? And uh, flow control can be always uh, between uh, intermediate node and source. So this is source and this is destination. You got the idea. And uh, like this. So these are connected like this in between. So here, say this is a router. So this is, I'm having this as a router. So assuming that uh, source can send the data at the rate one Mbps. Am I clear over here? One Mbps, one Mbps. And a router can process the data at the rate 512 Kbps, 512. Kbps. Now, that means the processing speed of uh, what I meant to say router happens to be less than the you know sending speed of the source. Now, there two things can happen. What it will do is every router will have a queue associated with it. Queue means buffer. You got the idea. Buffer is a place where the incoming packets will be stored temporarily right so every router maintains uh, two types of queue one is called as in queue for uh, you know keeping the incoming packets and uh, one is called out queue where the packets that are leaving the router are moved uh, to that whenever link is free from out queue the packets will be moved on to the link this is what happens so here uh, the packets uh, are there uh, what i mean to say now the packet is already there so assuming that this router can accommodate three packets in its queue and uh, since uh, source uh, sending rate is more just double it can receive uh, it can process uh, you know this router can process 512 kbps that is half mbps 0.5 mbps of uh, data at a time and uh, source sending source can send the data at the rate one Mbps, just double than that. So what will happen here, since the receiving, uh, receiving router's uh, rate is less, this queue gets filled very fast. Queue gets filled very fast. So the two mechanism, two mechanism is, it will have to drop the all excess uh, incoming packets. Incoming packets means uh, assuming that in uh, what I meant to say uh, one second, uh, it uh, can send the cooler uh, what I'm saying source can send uh, say assuming uh, 500 packet it can send 500 packet but this uh, particular uh, what I mean to say router can process only 250 packets so 250 packets are there in the uh, 250 packets at a time are there in the queue and uh, remaining 250 packets that have come, they will have to be dropped. The drop means uh, it will not be able to process because it can process only 250, uh, what I mean to say, packets, but uh, incoming number of packets is 1,000 packets. So, sorry, 500 packets. So what it has to do, it has to, you know, just uh, drop remaining 250 packets, will be dropped. The other mechanism is uh, this, if it doesn't want to drop, then it will send a message to this source, right? That you have to send packets at the speed of 512 kbps, which is my processing capability. 
So if you reduce uh, packet sending speed to 512 kbps, I will be able to process it and send it for onward journey. Otherwise, the packets will be lost. This is what it can do. Every router can do that. So two things, either it can drop the packet or it can, uh, what I mean to say, um, so this is uh, nothing but there cannot be because and uh, buffer size associated with every router is of limited size, right? So it will always have uh, two choices, uh, you know, receiving data link layer may drop the frames if its buffer is full, I have already talked. And the second choice is that uh, receiving data link layer uh, may send feedback to the sending uh, data link layer, means sending source that either it should stop sending the packets further or it should slow down to uh, match the speed of processing, uh, speed of processing of the router. So this is how various, uh, what I'm going to say, data link layer protocols are there followed by different hosts. So now uh, how exactly this happens? So here, uh, what exactly happens at uh, an intermediate uh, router? You have seen that whenever a frame, uh, you know, arrives from data link layer to physical layer, physical layer will do what uh, since this frame comprises of all zeros and ones so it will convert that zeros and ones into electromagnetic signal that is voltage different voltages so one zero one zero like that and transmitted uh, through the transmission medium now uh, when the router receives this electromagnetic signal so the physical layer of uh, what i meant to say router will have to do the what uh, it has to receive all electromagnetic signal that is voltages and convert them back into a frame form. And this frame form, it has to, what I meant to say, read it to know the destination address. And uh, you know that whenever the electromagnetic signal, uh, you know, gets transmitted via wired uh, medium that is copper cable or, you know, any other medium through which it is traveling, it may be optical fiber cable, it may be air, it may be anything. So while it is in transit, that uh, you know, uh, electromagnetic signal is bound to change. Say strong electrical, electric, electromagnetic field it is passing through, that copper wire is passing through strong electromagnetic uh, field. So zero may change to one, one may change to zero and a lot of uh, you know, garbling of the data will happen. So this uh, electromagnetic uh, signals are susceptible to error. So the moment uh, this, uh, you know, electromagnetic signals which are traveling from source to the router, if they get corrupted, so the whole frame is supposed to be cor corrupted, corrupted. So uh, either error must have to be detected and corrected or it may have to be discarded. It may have to be discarded. So this is what is the mechanism, right? Now there is something called as congestion control. Now, as I told you, if the sending rate of uh, sender is higher than what I meant to say, uh, processing capability of the receiver, in that case, what will happen is, uh, in that case, what will happen is, um, network may get congested. Like, uh, you know, it uh, all its buffers will be full in, que in queues. That is, incoming buffers will be full and outgoing going buffers are full so it cannot it uh, cannot send the packets outside and it cannot keep the packets so this is a scenario where it is called congestion control so basically congestion control is not the job of a data link layer for any reason uh, it's uh, either it is taken care by network layer or transport layer right so here um, we will uh, see uh, how exactly this can be done, right? So uh, there are two modes of communication that happen. Uh, so when, uh, you know, um, there is a host talking to another host directly. There is a host which is talking to another host, uh, you know, directly. So this is called as point to point link, direct link. You got the idea? So, uh, but whenever, you know, uh, you are talking over a mobile phone to your friend. 
you got the idea to your uh, friend in the same room assuming that uh, you know there is a big room and in that big room uh, you you are talking to your friend through a mobile phone now what will happen the packet which is generated it becomes airborne airborne means it is released into air and this particular pocket uh, which has been released into air will uh, will uh, what i meant to say go to every mobile phone that is present in the room this is called broadcast service that means this packet will be received uh, this packet will be received by every mobile phone but every mobile phone will check whether this packet is meant for me if it is not meant for me it simply discards that packet and only this packet will be processed by a mobile phone which is uh, you know uh, for which it is meant so that is your friend's mobile phone so this is uh, the scenario which is called as broadcast link so we have two possibilities uh, with uh, what i meant to say communication uh, that is point to point link direct one to one communication or one to many communication is possible right now we have uh, two functionalities right uh, two functionalities associated uh, with uh, data link layer uh, which can be data link layer can be further divided into two layers sub layers i can call one is called as dlc that is data link control and another is called media access control we will see them one by one dlc is data link control and uh, the medium access control right and uh, basically data link control it deals with uh, sorry it deals with point to point communication as well as broadcast communication so you know data link control will deal with uh, both uh, what i mean to say types of communication which is point to point communication or it can deal with uh, you know point to multi point that is broadcast uh, link but <laughs> the second uh, media access control it basically uh, you know is a is a, you know, uh, media access control it works only for broadcast broadcast link only one type now this is the diagram so where i have uh, you know uh, this is the data link layer so this data link layer of sender i can uh, divide it into two sub layers data link control sub layer and medium access control uh, what i'm say sub layer and this is the receiver so data link layer of uh, data uh, link control and uh, here you can see this is a point to point link directly a to b right now uh, this uh, link layer address is also called as link address or it is called as physical address sometimes it is called as mac address so when i say physical address or mac address or link layer address or link address it means the same thing across it is the same thing so this is there so when a datagram passes from network layer to data link layer this datagram will be taken it will be encapsulated encapsulated means it will be put inside a frame and how it will be put it will be attached with a header and it will be attached with a trailer right and uh, you can see here every time now this is uh, alice uh, system and this is bob system and this is the you know uh, device through which uh, you know it is uh, talking so here uh, you can see uh, this is the packet so here uh, n1 and n8 so n1 is nothing but uh, uh, network 1 and network 8 this is network 8 and this is network 1 so uh, from uh, network 1 uh, the packet is supposed to go this particular uh, packet or the frame no, sorry datagram has to go to network 8 you got the idea but they are far distant apart they are far distant apart they have to pass through several intermediate hosts several intermediate hosts so how exactly it happens uh, you know it goes Uh, why are this l1 uh, uh, l7 and l8 next level so here uh, when it comes it is meant for l7 and l8 so uh, you know it has to come here uh, now this uh, what uh, this router r1 will receive this this will open this particular packet 
So where it sees that uh, source and destination address, uh, you got the idea source and destination address, so it doesn't do anything. It will simply uh, find the nearest router to the destination, router nearest to the destination and forward the packet in that direction. So it attaches L5. You got the idea L4. So it has originated from L4. This is the line 4. You got the idea, this is line 3 and this is line 2. So uh, the packet has been, uh, uh, you know, sent from line 4 and uh, meant for line 5. So this uh, comes to line 5. Line 5, this router again checks, uh, opens this particular, uh, what I'm say, uh, frame. And uh, after opening the frame, it is uh, coming to know that uh, the source address uh, from where the packet is coming is N1. Uh, N1 is that of uh, Ellis system and uh, destination address is uh, N8, which is uh, Bob's system. So this L4, uh, L5 uh, and L4. So now from uh, L5, uh, this line is received and it was coming from L4. Now what it will do is it will attach the packet. So here, this uh, particular packet, uh, you know, it uh, goes uh, like this, it will say, uh, that, uh, you know, um, this is a line, actually this should have been uh, line 7 and line 8. Here it should be line 1 and line, so this should have been line 1 and line 2. So these two should be interchanged. This particular frame should have been here and this particular frame should have been here. See, uh, because this packet originated from line 1, this is line 1 and it becomes line 2. So this frame should have been here and this frame should have been here. So here it comes, you got the idea. So it is sent out, this particular packet is sent from, out from line uh, seven and it is received by line eight. And uh, here ultimately uh, the packet from network one is this and delivered to network eight. So this is how 